Aloha, I'm Chris Berman, and coming up on ESPN, he was the definition of a workhorse at Michigan. Now Chris Perry has to adapt to life in the NFL. We'll get to look at his progress here. Cowboys, Bengals, straight ahead. While the teams are out on the field getting loose, the fans are filing in and finding their seats for the game. Hi, I'm Dan Stevens, and welcome to All Brown Stadium. Here with me in the booth, my longtime associate, Peter O'Keefe. Peter, this game has got a playoff atmosphere with a chance at the number one spot in the division at stake. Well, the pressure's on, Dan. You better believe it and secure number one in their division with a win. And with these kind of matchups, it all comes down to rhythm. Whatever team can establish an offensive and defensive rhythm earliest will come away with the win. And now let's go down to the coin toss. Tails. Mike Vanderjack kicking off for the Cowboys. There's the signal, and we're it's ready. Time for bingo! Vanderjack kicks it off to begin the game. This will fly out of the end zone for a touchback. What a kick. The Bengals offense will start this drive at their own 20-yard line. Johnson goes in motion. Dodges this one way out right and maybe picks up one on the play. Second and nine. Ball at the Bengals, 21-yard line. Palmer zips it to the left sideline, and That's it's tipped incomplete. incomplete. Anthony Henry came in and got a hand on that football and left no chance for a reception there. That play would have set up a manageable third and short. But instead, they forced the incompletion. That's how the D is supposed to play. Third down, nine yards to go. Oh, let's watch this. Five wide out versus a D that is wisely loaded up on DBs. Johnson goes in motion. It's intercepted. One man to beat runs out at the 17. I'm coming out. I'm coming. Oh, I'm coming. Oh, okay. oh, 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 Roy Williams is able to catch the ball in these rainy conditions, but he's playing for the defense, people. That rain is really rewriting the playbook out there today, and that time the D was the big winner. Boy, that was a heads-up play to come away with his first interception of the game. Yeah, you gotta love D like that. The Cowboys are going to try and capitalize on the interception. They'll start this drive at the 17-yard line. <laughs> So floats it to the right side and it That's falls incomplete. incomplete. With the deflection. All day, baby. All day. We get nothing. Second and ten. Ball at the 17. Dan bunch of receivers out there. Defense is expecting that and they go to nickel. Davis goes in motion. <laughs> Wait, he the bullet out left, and he's 
looking for room. Tackled hard at the eight. Jason Witten took his lone defender to school on that last play, making the catch with relative ease. A great job to move the ball and get themselves into a third and short situation. This is a critical play for this drive. Yeah, now Dan, they can just fall forward and make the play. Sounds easy, Peter, but we'll see if they can pull it off. Third down, the two tight ends to the right. Davis will get the carry on third down and converts the third down. First down, Cowboys. Steven Davis can thank his blockers for that last play. If it wasn't for them, that play would have tanked. A big gain on third, and they will easily move the chain. Perfect call for the situation, Dan. No trouble in getting the first. Davis gets the call again and runs into traffic. Number 99 tackles him behind the line of scrimmage. Number 99 was a one-man wrecking crew back there. He powered into the backfield and made the tackle. They halt this play behind the line of scrimmage, and that will bring up a second down. Number 99 tackles him behind the line of scrimmage. Number 99 was a one-man wrecking crew back there. He powered into the backfield and made the tackle. Good defense that's Third forced down. two losses in a row. Third down and four wideouts in the game. That tips it away on the coverage. Incomplete. That will bring up fourth and goal. Kiwan Rattler managed to disrupt things. He got in there and he smacked that pass away. Great D. It seemed like the defense read that one from the beginning and they forced the incompletion with Rubble to be. Beautiful call by the D coordinator. It'll be fourth down. Fourth down and the field goal unit is on the field. The field goal they the take the lead. Good. Mike Vanderjack gets a soggy football here, but he's on target. And the kick's good. Great job in this nasty weather. Mike Vanderdeck kicking off for the Cowboys. The ref gets the signal, and we're set. Vanderjack rockets this one deep. Williams decides to take it out to the end zone. Tackle at the 17. Ricky Williams got out close to the 20 on that one, so his decision to take it out of the end zone didn't really pay off, but it didn't really hurt him either. The Bengals stalled early last drive, and we'll have to wait and see what happens here. They'll start at their own 17-yard line. to the right side and it's tip is incomplete, incomplete. Right. Corey Bird right. raced to disrupt things he got in there and he smacked that pass away great D that had potential for some yards Peter but the defense was on top of it and shut it down good denial there second down coming up second and ten ball at the Bengals 17 yard line <laughs> Ferguson knocks it Passes down at the line, incomplete. Jason Ferguson, Jason Ferguson with the moved quick to bat that one down at the line. Good reaction time. If complete, that would have made for a bit shorter third down play, but the defense had other ideas. The anticipation to the throw was key here. It made all the pieces fall into place. Third down coming up. Johnson goes in motion. This one way over the middle. First down in the first on third and long. Carson Palmer with the pass into double coverage, but gets his man perfectly. Hey, that was one accurate throw. And Peter, that time, neither of those guys really had a height advantage on the other. Yeah, and sometimes when you find yourself locked in a matchup like that, it simply becomes a question of who wants the ball more. Advantage offense there. First down, one man down. This pass will fall pass harmlessly to the ground, and it's the incomplete. Deflection. Carson Palmer is really struggling out there today. As you can see by the numbers, it's all bad. Up to now, he's got 29 yards and one interception. Second and 10. The ball at the Bengals, 46-yard line. 
Johnson goes in motion. Johnson gains three yards, and that brings up third down. Third and six. Ball at the Bengals, 49-yard line. Johnson catches the heater left sideline and... Okay, bring him out. Bring him out. We got the chains. No first, baby, no first. No first, baby, no first. Break it on, baby! The head coach is not happy with that call, and he's going to challenge it. Hey, we want a challenge. Dallas is challenging the spot of the ball. This is their All first right. challenge yeah. of the game, and okay. even if they lose All this right. one, they still have one challenge left. As we watch the replay here, look for where the ball is when he's tackled. Remember, all he needs is one knee to be down. After review, the call on the field is overturned. Dallas will not be charged to timeout. Fourth down. Yeah. He likes the call, and you sort of have a feeling that he knew it all along. Fourth and inches. Ball at the 45. Johnson gets the call on fourth down, first down and bingo. converts the fourth down. What a fantastic play. Rudy Johnson took advantage of some really good blocking there on that last run. When you get the initial surge like that, good things happen, especially in the ground game. They convert the fourth, and there's some excited faces down there on the field. Oh, boy, nothing can amp up an offense like a big play. That's how you get the first. And that's what they've got, first down. Johnson will take the handoff and will gain close to six. With the tackle. Second and four. Ball at the 36-yard line. Johnson didn't haul pass that one in, complete. and it falls incomplete. Jamie Sharper shut down that pass perfectly. You know when you're sitting back in a zone like that, what you're trying to do is read the quarterback's eyes to get a jump on the ball. On second down, they try for the first, but it's played well by the defense. That will bring up third down. Nice pressure that time. Third down. Ninth play of the drive coming up. This one to the left sideline, and it's intercepted. Stop at the 18. Roy Williams timed his jump perfectly on that last play to pick off the pass. Peter, you couldn't ask for more from him today. He has done his part. And then some. So far, he's got two interceptions. Cowboys will start this drive at their own 18-yard line. Anderson goes in motion. Number 84 grabs the bullet and as well past the markers for a first down. Drew Bledsoe has little problem completing this pass. He makes it look so easy, and he's getting paid so much money, Dan. It makes you wonder. And there he is with the catch. Oh, look, uh, you've got an easy job, Peter, and you made a lot of money. What's the difference? First well, the difference is i got to work with you. Oh, oh yeah. Five yard line. <laughs> Bledsoe lightens it out left side, and it's tipped incomplete. Number 51 okay, swatted that one away Covered cleanly. The, the receiver the didn't have a prayer in getting that. Potential Stick for some nice plan. yards, but the defense plays it tough. That will bring up second down. 
Second down, three wideouts in the game. Davis will get the carry on second down and chews up about four on the play. That'll do it for That's quarter number one. The Cowboys with a small lead, three to nothing. This one out to the right sidelines, and it's not reeled in. Incomplete. Carol Owens had some room on the fringes there, but couldn't reel in the pass. The head coach doesn't agree with the call, and we're going to see the red flag. Hey, we want to challenge. Dallas is challenging whether the pass was caught inbounds. This is their second challenge, and if they win this one like they won the first, they'll have a chance at a third challenge. Dan, when we check out the replay here, we should be able to see if the catch was made prior to going out of bounds. After review, the pass has been ruled complete. The catch was made prior to going out of bounds. Dallas will not be charged to timeout. First down. He likes the call, and you sort of have a feeling that he knew it all along. First and ten. The ball at the 42-yard line. Bledsoe throws a bullet and it's tipped. Incomplete. incomplete. Felt all he and it's been disrupting. He got in there and he smacked that pass away. Great D. That is their fourth batted ball. Tell you, we've seen a number of good defensive plays from this squad. We sure have. We'll see if they can keep it up, though. Second down with the tight end right. Reels in the football, and that will be a gain of three yards. And if we can back up a moment, that was a great play breaking up that pass attempt. Plays like that show why Delta O'Neill was our first round pick out of Cal back in 2000. He is just so athletic down there. In fact, he tied an NFL record a few years back by picking off four passes in one game. Davis goes in motion. Bledsoe throws a heater right sideline and it's off incomplete. Number 84 got open on that last play with a slant route, but couldn't bring the ball in. Peter in third down situations, they have not been successful at all with the pass. This play was more proof. Boy, third is such a crucial down, Dan. And when you don't convert, it really hurts. Number one lines up for the punt. Number one gets the snap and punts it away. James feels the punt at the 11. Bang down at the 16. Tory James didn't get very far running that ball back, but on the bright side, the kick was pretty lackluster, so his offense gets pretty good field position anyway. The Bengals have turned the ball over the past two times out. They need to hold on to it as they start this drive at their own 16-yard line. Johnson will get the carry on first down and rambles for about five. Second and four. Ball at the Bengals, 21-yard line. Johnson goes in motion. Johnson carries it for the sixth time and... Number picks 32, up a couple. Rudy Johnson got some help Jamie on that Sharper one in the form the of blocking, but he still couldn't make a play out of it. Not a lot of room on that play. Third it will be three. third down. Ball at the Bengals, 23-yard line. Johnson carries it for the third time in the 
picks up the first down. First down to me on. Second and six. Ball at the Bengals, 31 yard line. Palmer makes the pass at the receptions made at the 38. Eventually tackled at the 45. First down. Chad Johnson makes the catch, but that's not enough for him. He gets it and takes off for more. A lot of short completions like that today, Peter, where they get stops right uh, soon after the catch. Yeah, if you can't make anything happen after the catch, those short throws are useless. Johnson will get stopped at the line, and that will bring up second down. Jason Ferguson, Jason Ferguson was a one-man wrecking crew back there. He powered into the backfield and made the tackle. They put a stop to this play behind the line of scrimmage. Pretty good call by the defensive coordinator. Agreed, Dan. They, they had it all locked up there. That will bring up second down. The Bengals, 45-yard line. past scrimmage and maybe picks up one on the play. Rudy Johnson used the blocking, but this stingy defense didn't give up much at all on that last play. Well, not much of a game there, and they will face third down. Third, third and, and long, nine. too, Dan. Big play coming up. Bengals, third down. Yard nine yards to go. Johnson goes in motion. <laughs> Takes the catch out to the left, and they get the first on third and long. First and ten. Ball at the 45. Johnson takes his tenth carry of the game, and he moves forward for seven. Jamie Sharp with the tackle. Johnson. Palmer rifles it out left side and it's bobbled and dropped incomplete. TJ Huthmanzada had that ball receiver. in his hands on that play and then he just dropped it. Potential for a quick first down, but no, they cannot hook up the pass. You can take a shot in that situation and it's really not going to hurt you. That's a good call. That'll bring up second down. Second down, tight end to the left. First down, and Nolan gets back to the line of scrimmage. Second down with a split backfield. Johnson catches it left sideline and is at the 10. Pushed out at the 7. Anthony Henry with the first down. Anthony Henry forced his man out back there, allowed some yards, yes, but stopped them short of the markers. Either they allow themselves to get backed up against the wall here. Yeah, they gave up a bunch. Now let's see if they can hunker down and stop the bleeding. A pivotal third and short coming up. Third and one. Ball at the seventh. <laughs> Touchdown! Touchdown, Bingo! Number 80, 
six as a guy shadowing him but still manages to make the catch. He beats his man cold. It's all about staking your turf. He'll get the touchdown and he does it in style. Beautiful play. Let's go, baby! Get your hands up! Here's the point after, and the extra it's point good. is good. The ref gets the signal, and we're set. Right, kicks this one away. Jones catches it back at the two. Left down at the 23. Peter, interesting order to the division, isn't there? Oh, you bet. Julius Jones received that nice kick and a nice little run back after the catch. Good job. First Cowboys offense Dallas. takes the field with the clock at 19. Cruises out to the left side and gains about three yards. And that'll do it for the first half of this one. The Bengals are on the run, seven to three. And now let's send you to Chris Berman in our studios in Bristol for the ESPN Halftime Report. Boomer. Okay, Dana, we'll get back to you guys in a moment. Welcome, everybody, to the ESPN Halftime Show. I'm Chris Berman. Now we'll look at our first half by the numbers, and I'll tell you, first downs have been the story here. The Bengals should be way ahead on the scoreboard, but somehow... They've let their opponent hang with them. Let's see if they can change things in the second half. Let's get started in this one early in the first quarter. Roy Williams shows some great awareness here as he gets himself into position to pick this one off. After driving 12 yards on six plays, Mike Vanderjack gets the call as they can't punch it into the end zone, but the short field goal is up and good. Connect on the field goal. The Bengals towards the end of the first quarter. Bengals down by three. Roy Williams would come up with a big play to kill a drive as he was able to step in front of a wayward pass for an INT. The boys still late in the first. Drew Bledsoe would drop back and deliver a strike on this one. Cowboys up three to nothing. Carson Palmer would drop back and put one right on the money. A seven yard touchdown for the Bengals. And that's where we'll leave this one. Bengals are holding on to a lead, seven to three. Now let's check out the undisputed halftime hero of the first half. Chad Johnson has taken over this game. So that'll do it from here. Let's send you back out now to Dan Stevens and Peter O'Keefe. Dan? Thanks, Chris. And today's game has been presented in ESPN Game Sound. Designed and developed in collaboration with Dolby, the leader in surround sound technology. The Cowboys will receive to start the second half, and this is a tight contest. Currently, they're down 7-3. Seven to three. Now, let's get to the game. Brayton boots the second half kickoff away. some interesting information up on the screen. Oh, you bet. Not a ton of action, but they're not out of it yet. Their D is playing strong, and a little offensive rhythm could turn this game around. Let's go down to Susie Culber, who has an update for us. Susie? Thanks, Dan. Head coach Marvin Lewis Got told me at halftime that he's pleased Dallas. with his team's passing game and said the O-line has done a good job of giving the quarterback time to make plays. However, he thinks they can improve their run blocking. They haven't had much success with the run today, and he'd like to have that option. Dan? Susie, thank you. Owens catches the bullet out left, and that's good for a gain of five. Drew Bledsoe played the pass perfectly, zeroing in on his man despite the coverage. 
you know, it's all about accuracy Second in that situation. They make a completion, but their short game doesn't seem to be worth the time they're investing in. Well, even when they finally do connect, it's not really moving the ball. They need to think bigger. Bledsoe tips it to the left sideline, and it's incomplete. Number 84 looked like he had a solid catch there, and yet somehow he found a way to drop it. That's the third incompletion his way, Peter. Yeah, and he's starting to look a little frustrated down there, too. Third down, three wideouts in the game. Convert on third down. Come on, Cincinnati, stop them. Steven Davis took on triple coverage and came away with a phenomenal catch. A beautiful pickup, Peter. Everyone on the offense is happy about that play. Definitely great call by the offensive coordinator. And it will be a first down. Ball at the 44 yard line. Second down. Number 40 with the tackle. Second and seven. Ball at the 41. Davis gets the call on second down and picks up a couple. Davis really struggling to get any traction, so to speak. No room to run anywhere. He struggled just to get 15 yards on seven carries. Third down, five yards to go. Bledsoe fires this one over the middle, and it is not reeled in. Incomplete. Drew Bledsoe but fly a risky throw into double coverage, but it fell incomplete. Peter in third down situations, they have not been successful at all with the pass. This play was more proof. Boy, third is such a crucial down, Dan. And when you don't convert, it really hurts. Number one gets ready to punt this away. Number one takes the long snap and punts it away. James fields it at the 14. Five on Tackled the at the 20. Torrey James didn't get very far running that ball back, but on the bright side, the kick was pretty lackluster, so his offense gets pretty good field position anyway. The Bengals will start this first play of the drive at their own 20-yard line. Johnson goes in motion. <laughs> Johnson gets the handoff and takes it to the field. And down at the 31. It will be first down. Rudy Johnson has a great offensive line in front of him. They made that play happen. Yep, those blockers opened up the hole for him. A huge game. First down from the eye. a play on complete. this one and forces Number the incompletion. With the Corey Bird came in and got a hand on that football and left no chance for a reception there. That is their fourth hey, hey, batted hey, ball. Hey, Tell you, we've seen a number of good defensive plays from this squad. We sure have. We'll see if they can keep it up, though. Johnson has his number called on second down and picks up a couple. Third and eight. Ball at the Bengals, 33-yard line. Interceptor. Dragged down at the 36. Holding, number 26, defense. Five-yard penalty, automatic first Aaron down. Glenn got a fistful of his man to try and wrap him up on that play, but the ref saw it, and 
That's a clear-cut case of defensive holding. First down from the shotgun. Ball at the Bengals, 38-yard line. Johnson carries it for the 15th time and maybe picks up one on the play. Rudy Johnson didn't get very far on that last play, and he even had the help of some blocking. I guess the defense had their number. Not much there. It'll be second down. Got to take what you can get, Dan, but they were you know, hoping for more. Washington wins the pass ball over the middle, and gets past the markers for a first down. Washington has a guy shadowing him, but still manages to make the catch. He beats his man Cole. It's all about staking your turf. A well-designed play there, Peter, and they will move the chain. Great execution. Palmer throws a heater, and it's tipped. Is incomplete. incomplete. Anthony, Anthony Henry, Henry managed to disrupt things. He got in there and he smacked that pass away. Great D. A nice defensive play will give him his second batted ball of the game. Yeah, great read there. Mr. Johnson. Second and I ten. All day. Ball at the 49. No stopping me today. <laughs> Intercepted. Locked <laughs> down at Cowboys. the 46. Corey Bird goes why you think twice before throwing a pass in his neighborhood. Watch. Great presence of mind to try for the football there. That's their third interception of the game. And Peter, the D is homing in on the passing game. Yeah, tough play. I love it. The Cowboys. Offense is now on the field. And except for a few big plays, they really can't be happy with their passing game up to this point. We'll see what they call on this drive Davis as they start at the their 46-yard line. Davis barrels off his left guard and chews up about four on the play. Second and six. Ball at the Cowboys' 50-yard line. O'Neal makes a play on this and forces the incompletion. Delta O'Neal came in and got a hand on that football and left no chance for a reception there. They have really gotten after the ball as a team today. That is their fifth batted ball. Nice aggressive beat. Third down and five wide receivers take the field. Owens goes in motion. Bledsoe tips it to the left sideline, and it's tipped. Incomplete. Fourth down coming up. Number 51 came in and got a hand on that football and left no chance for a reception there. You know, as a team, they are batting down passes left and right. That is their sixth so far. Wow, great anticipation of the pass. Number one lines up to punt after the three and out. Number one gets the ball and punts it away. James fields the punt at the 11. Stopped at the 16. Torrey James didn't have much room to work with back there. The special team squad made sure he couldn't respond to that really nice punt. The Bengals were intercepted last time out. We'll see what happens here. We'll start at their own 16-yard line. Palmer throws this on a rope. The ball's caught at the 29. Finally dropped at the 32. That will bring up first down. Carson Palmer gets it past the defender and into the arms of his receiver. That's a great play. Check it out. Ooh, nice accurate throw. Great pass, Peter, and he's having a terrific That's day so far. Quarter. You bet so far he's got 127 yards and one touchdown. And that'll do it for the third quarter. The Bengals are out in front, 7-3. First down, two receivers to the left. Hit 
Number 86 goes in motion. the markers for a first down. DJ Hootmanzada had three guys covering him, but look what happens. Incredible catch. It's caught for a gain of 10 on the play. Chad Johnson easily overcomes the double coverage to nab the football. Perfect synchronization by the quarterback and the receiver. Way to get open. Another short catch, and that's where they've been utilizing him today. Yeah, the short routes have been open, and he's been exploiting it. Johnson has his number called on second down, and only gets back to the line of scrimmage. Number Matt Ware targeted the ball the carrier early and didn't even let him get back to the line of scrimmage. That's his second tackle so far. Come on, guys, keep Third, Third down, just a single receiver on the field. Palmer throws a bullet to the flat and they convert on Carson Palmer has found limited success in the passing game so far, Dan, and he just can't seem to get into a rhythm out there. I'd say he's not very pleased with his performance. So far, he's got 153 yards and three interceptions. Does a great job here battling three defenders. It's definitely worth a second look. Let's watch. And he still comes up with the ball. Wow, you can't coach that. The balls are coming his way in the middle, and he's making them pay. You have to like his performance so far. Well, Dan, I like any receiver who's willing to go over the middle and sacrifice the body to make the catch. First and goal. Carson Palmer makes a terrific completion in double coverage here. Wow. Now that is one confident QB. That's another pass that went pretty much down the middle. He hasn't been working the sides too much. Well, he's obviously very confident to be throwing into where all the traffic is. He's daring the D to stop him. Kelly goes in motion. is stopped at two minutes. Well, do you play run or flood the zone to disrupt the pass? You almost have to do both right here. He's in for the touchdown. Touchdown, Bango. run here and when you watch the replay then check out his field vision great job of finding space that touchdown will stretch the lead peter and it looks like they will walk away the winner here well it looks that way dan but it's not over until it leaves double zero up there here's the extra point and the extra it's point good. is good Signal, and we're ready. 
strength booms a beauty here. Jones decides to take it out of the end zone. Tackled at the 18. Julius Jones took it out of the end zone, and while it may have been a little risky, he gets out close to the 20, so it all comes out in the wash on that play. The Cowboys will start this drive deep in their own territory with the clock at 1.54. Couldn't connect on this one. Incomplete. incomplete. Delta O'Neal was with the receiver all the way back there on that deep corner route and interrupted the pass. Incomplete. That had potential for some yards, Peter, but the defense was on top of it and shut it down. Good Second denial down. there. Second down coming up. Second down. The clock is stopped at 150. Bledsoe unloads this one to the left, and it's caught at the third. The Cowboys take their first time out. First down with a split backfield. Ball at the Cowboys, 36 yard line. This one will fall incomplete with the deflection. Second and ten. Ball at the Cowboys, 36-yard line. Lenzo throws up here, here, and they can't connect. Incomplete. down and four wideouts in the game. <laughs> Davis catches the ball over the middle. Cowboys will take a timeout. That's their second. Turn the ball over on down. Intended receiver, Torrey James with the cover. Torrey James was a man coverage and played it pretty tight. Tight enough for the incompletion. They needed to keep that drive going. Instead, they'll give it up on down. A two-score game with the clock winding down. You cannot afford to come away with nothing. Rip, 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 rip. Timeout call. Rudy, Second and 11. Ball at the 40 yard line. Third and 12. Ball at the 41. Larson gets ready to punt this away. Number 41 to make the return.
Larson takes the snap and punts it away. Newman gets it at the 11. Tackled at the 17. Terrence Newman didn't get very far running that ball back, but on the bright side, the kick was pretty lackluster, so his offense gets pretty good field position anyway. The Cowboys will start this drive deep in their own territory with the clock at five. Owens pitches it in the flat end. That's a gain of seven on the play. Terrell Owens had nobody on him. The quarterback saw it and got the ball to him. Peter, I'm sure he's happy to bring that one in. The last three passes to him have all been incompletion. Yeah, he's struggling a bit there, but this may turn him around. Second down, one man back. Bledsoe just rifles this one. And the reception's made at the 36. Brought down hard at the 40. Terrell Owens has a guy shadowing him, but still manages to make the catch. He beats his man cold. It's all about staking your turf. A lot of short completions like that regulation. today, Peter, where they get stops right uh, soon after the catch. Yeah, if you can't make anything happen after the catch, those short throws are useless. And that is going to do it for this one. The Bengals come out on top 14 to 3. For my partner, Peter O'Keefe, this is Dan Stevens saying goodbye until next time. Okay, Dan, thank you very much. And let's welcome all of you back to the studio. I'm Chris Berman here to bring you our ESPN Video Games post-game wrap-up. The Bengals stepped it up for sure, putting up some good numbers. Let's get started in this one early in the third quarter. Drew Bledsoe would find his target on this one. The Bengals on defense, the ball at the midfield strike. Corey Bird is reading the quarterback's eyes all the way as he's able to get his hands on this one and pick it off. Bengals leading by four. Rudy Johnson got the carry here and he comes through. They're now up by 11. Drew Bledsoe connected with his man on this one. Cowboys down 14 to three. Drew Bledsoe connected with his man on this one. And that's where we'll leave this one. Bengals come away with a win 14 to three. Now let's talk to a player who was instrumental in their dominant running game and is our player of the game. Rudy Johnson is standing by with Susie Calvert. Suze? Thanks, Chris. You really hustled today. And you were instrumental in helping your team snag the win. What was the key to your success? I say this time and time again. I got to give it up to my teammates. Without them, I couldn't do the things that I do on the field. We've just got a great cast of characters on this team, and I'm honored to play alongside them. Back to you, Chris. Well, that just about does it. Thanks so much for joining us. We'll see you next time here on ESPN, celebrating 25 years as the worldwide leader in sports. I'm Chris Berman. So long.